Another week of high school football, so that means another Tuesday night edition of Player of the Week. Nathan Epstein has more. Take a look at that big right forearm and you'll see a tattoo. It says humble beast. Basically, I'm humble and I want to be a beast. Take a look on the field and it's pretty clear to see why they call Kevon King a beast. I refuse to go down. And you see, I, I'm kind of, I'm a, I'm a big running back, so you know. It's hard for like, hard for people to tackle me. That's why I'm a beast. King powered the Tigers' punishing rush attack during their unbeaten state title run over the spring. In the region championship game, he ran the tightrope 84 yards down the sideline to the end zone, finished that game with 203 yards and two scores, then pounded his way to pay dirt two more times in the title game. All that ground and pound has earned him scholarship offers to Marshall and Indiana. I feel like he's come into this season feeling like he left stuff on the field last year, and I feel like he, he did a great job. He was one of the best backs in the state. Um, had a huge season, led the area in touchdowns, um, but he's always thirsty for more. He put his foot in the ground and got vertical on Friday. Against his Chesapeake rival Grassfield last week, King crossed the goal line five times. Oscar Smith tallied 57 points in the win. King scored 30 by himself. So amazing. It's, it's having that security blanket, if you will. When you turn around, and you're able to hand it off to a guy, and he's able to get behind those big boys and then go ahead and, and, and take it the distance. King is a big man himself, and at 215 pounds when he's on the field, you better make way. I'm Kevon King, running back for Austin Smith, and I'm your player of the week. In Chesapeake, Nathan Epstein for the Sport Track.